What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with your boy. Damn, this mustache is getting way too long. But hey, look. So I was in my bed, right? And I just remember that some of you guys requested me to do a Spanish slang video. More, not Spanish, but more like, you know, Dominican slang. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of slangs depending on where you come from. Uh, like, different Spanish people, you know, say have their own thing. So today, obviously, I'm Dominican. So we're going to be doing a couple. The top 10 slangs that we use maybe they're you know obviously some people might have different opinions or whatever but these are my top tens these are what i know of the top of my head that we use so if you guys haven't heard of any of them and you guys learned something new make sure you drop a like in the video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you comment any other ideas you guys want to see because look i've been doing the ideas you guys give me so if you guys keep you know putting them out there i'm gonna do them for you guys Obviously, if I have the time. Today, I, I wasn't too tired from work, so that's why I'm doing this video. But without further ado, let's jump into the top 10. Honestly, I don't even know where this one came from, but Dominicans just love saying que lo que, bro. It basically means what's up, you know? Um, nobody really knows where it came from. Sometimes I even say que lo que con que lo que, but that's just me messing around. But basically, que lo que means what's up, honestly. So if you wanna if you wanna ask somebody like que lo que, and somebody comes up to you and says que lo que, you already know what it is. It means what's up, basically. Simple. Numero dos es un chin. Basically, un chin means just a little bit. So sometimes you can use it as like, uh, for example, dame un chin de eso, meaning like give me some of that, that give me a little bit of that, or like. Sometimes I'd be like, Diablo, mami, tu me un chin de comida, you know, if you're wondering. Sometimes we talk too fast, I'm sorry, especially when we talk in Spanish. But sometimes I'd be like, mami, Diablo, me un chin de comida, meaning, damn, mom, you gave me a little bit of food. It's just a ching, ching means little, or like a little bit, you know. All right, jumping into number three, this one is vaina. Not, I don't even know why I said it like that, that is not how I say it, vaina. Yeah, we were saying vaina, it is spelled with a V though. Um, why we say vaina instead of vaina? I don't even know the correct way of pronouncing it. We just say vaina, like, diablo, que maldita vaina, as in, like, damn. Um, what, what, like, it basically means thing, like, what a thing. It's like, damn, what a thing. So, vaina, if somebody says, eh, hey, loco, pasame esa vaina, it just means, like, hey, can you pass me that thing? Or, like, for another example, let me see, um, eh, vaina, how can we use vaina? Let me see, vaina, vaina, vaina. Diablo, esa vaina me dolió. So that's basically saying like, damn, that thing hurt. So yeah, that's what vaina. Vaina just means thing, basically. Simple. Make sure you get that note that vaina means thing. All right. So if some guy comes to you and be like, yo, pasame esa vaina, it just it just means pass me that thing. You know. One of them. This is another one that is very common. I think I don't think it's only Dominicans that be calling buses guagua. Guagua means like bus, basically. So like for example, it's like diablo, papá, me va a dejar la guagua. It's like damn, the bus is gonna leave me, or like guagua, or eh, I viene la guagua, meaning uh, I viene, or now I was gonna say it in Spanish, here comes the bus. This is guagua means like it's a it's a form of transportation. So guagua means bus. So bus means guagua. Hey, you're welcome. This one that I'm gonna say right now, colmado, this one's like, I actually haven't heard people say that here as much. Now people just call it deli, especially here in New York. Deli is basically what a colmado is in the Dominican Republic. So when uh, when you're in DR and you wanna go buy something, you're not gonna go to the deli, you're gonna go to the colmado. So if somebody tells you to vamos para colmado, that means they just go to like a, the corner. It's like a corner store, which is like a deli basically. So colmado. You just go there and basically they do the same thing you do at delis here. They got everything, um, probably even better. But yeah, colmado just means like a corner store, you know. That's where, yo, that's where the, the everything be at, bro. The colmado, that's where you be buying all the food you need. Because you're not going to go to a big ass supermarket when you got a colmado down your, you know, down the block. Like having a deli down the block. So colmado means a uh, corner store, I think. Another famous word that we use is quijao. I honestly be using this sometimes, not really that much now, but Kijao basically means some sort of like anger or mad or like if somebody says, hey, Lia, hey, hey, yo, el ta Kijao, it's like he mad, he, he, you know, basically he just mad to be honest. Like there's different ways of using it. It just means some sort of anger. So Kijao, it's like, for example, um, Diablo, yo tengo un quille because... Should I say it all in Spanish? Yeah, but you think on key day because I failed the exam or something. Basically, like you're mad because you failed the exam. Of course, you don't say key for everything. There's obviously 
uh, words that you gotta change. Not words, but letters in the word itself that you gotta change to make it make sense. Just like English, kind of, I think. I don't even know. English be hard as hell sometimes. But yeah, kijao means something like mad or uh, anger, basically. And that, and that shit is related to all that. This next one is uh, bacano. I think there's different ways of using this. I feel like, um, let me see, like bacano may, basically means like you're good at something or I feel like some Dominicans, I don't know if it's just Dominicans, but this is how I just know that bacano is like something cool basically. But um, yeah, so if you say, for example, yeah, but sabe necesita bacana, it's just like, damn, that thing is so cool. So bacano is just, yeah, just cool to be honest. That's how, I don't even know if there's another way of like, using it but the way i use it is like bacano, like damn you cool basically like like you nice at something basically something like that you feel me i might be right i might be wrong i have no idea if you're doubting me look it up but i'm pretty sure i'm right though this next one down this one right here actually you hear all the time like diparate meaning that you talk a whole bunch of nonsense on boo boo basically. So boo boo guys, this is I don't even know. Did I make this up? I think I made this up. But um diparate means like nonsense basically. So for example somebody say Diablo loco to see diparate. It's just basically saying, damn dude, you talk a whole bunch of nonsense, basically. Diparate nonsense. So if you hear Dominican while you're in the subway and they're talking a lot on the phone, they're probably talking some diparate, some nonsense that some boo boo. This next one, I actually haven't used this one in such a long time because, you know, I haven't been to the R in like 10 years. But most of the Dominicans out there probably know what a quimalito is. Basically, if you live in somewhere hot, if you're somewhere hot, trust me, you're going to want un quimalito. It's like a, it's like a popsicle, basically. And they be selling this in the colmado. See, yo, everything's coming back around in the full circle and it's connecting with each other. But yeah, a quimalito is just like a popsicle. Um, them things is mad good. I don't even remember back in the back when I was I was gonna say back in the days like I'm that old. I'm not though. I just haven't been to the R man long, and I don't even know if they still sell like quemalitos. They probably do. Yeah, they probably do because they be having it here. I ain't gonna lie. So you see those long ass popsicles, you know, with different flavors. Yeah, that's what a that's what a quemalito is. And they be having it in the R over there all the time. So yeah, quemalito sounds funny. I ain't gonna lie, a quemalito. Yeah. But that's what I find. That's a, it's a popsicle. I think I'm gonna just end it right there. If you guys wanna see like a part two of more slang, Spanish slangs, or not Spanish slangs, more like Dominican slangs, let me know in the comment section. I, I will, you know, think back at all the boo boo that I'll be saying or all the diparate that I'll be saying. Yo, I'm telling you, it's coming all back around. And I will make a video for you guys. Of course, only if you guys like the video, share it, subscribe, and comment. All right, then I'll do that for you guys. But as, until then, I'm going to see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.